Hi, Julie Wolf, Skype coach here. Just like it says there. <laughs> um, someone just asked me if uh, XSky still works, and so I logged into current Skype 6.14, and uh, yes, it does. <laughs> it is still working. Handle www.cuonskype.com. This is this Skype ID, cuonskype.com. And uh, if you uninstalled XSky and, and still have it and want to reinstall it, all you have to do is go to Tools, Options. This is where the Desktop API third party stuff is connected, right? Advanced, Manage the Program's Access, and uh, Change. Uh oh. What did I do? Okay, change <laughs> and allow if it's on do not allow. And then you hit OK, OK, and save. So this this is the place that you always go to connect the desktop APIs as long as they still work. We're not sure how long they will work because Skype slash Microsoft is moving all of Skype to the cloud and away from away from um, Manager the program's access to Skype away from uh, P2P, person to person. And when that fully happens, apparently it was supposed to happen December 2013, and now it is June 2014, and the API still works even in current Skype. The only thing I know that it um, may not work with is pre-installed Skype on Windows 8 and 8.1. So yes, XSky definitely is still working. It's still, it is definitely attached. Attachment status attached to www.c1skype.com which is what my Skype ID is here. That's it. XSky still works in current Skype until, and we don't know what will happen when they complete with older versions of Skype. I use lots of older versions of Skype, as you know. 3.8, 6.0, which is the last one you can moderate rooms in. I should move the screen over, hold on. And 6.1, we have lots of them. My favorite is 5.3. So I am not often in current Skype, but I logged into current Skype. I can log into any Skype version I want. So we don't know what will happen when they fully, when Microsoft fully moves Skype to the cloud. But so far, uh, desktop API tools um, that are found, once again, here, still work like, for example, XSky. We don't know how long that will still that will be the case when they completely move uh, Skype when Microsoft completely moves Skype to the cloud. We can try older versions of Skype. I can open up any older version I want without having to downgrade my Skype. I can have current Skype and I can use older versions for all the different benefits they have. <laughs> you can see I skipped four, but <laughs> I go back to 3.8 for old message magic. Hopefully it will come back someday. And uh, 6.0, it you cannot use with uh, Windows 8, unfortunately. Uh, I think you can Windows, use it with Windows 8.0, but not 8.1. So, and you can put your the current Skype desktop version on Windows 8, and that will still work. Um, I haven't tried it in a Windows 8, but this is a Windows 7, and current Skype is 6.14, and it does still allow us to work with the third-party desktop API tools. 6.14. That's all for now. Bye! Julie Wolf Skype Coach from cuonskype.com